Macro number two. Uh, looks like a drop in credit card fees causes people to use credit cards more often. Demand less money. Using a correctly labeled graph of the money market, show how the nominal interest rate will be affected. So easy. Money supply vertical. Fed controls all of it. Demand for money. Nominal interest rate. They even gave you a hint. Right? Quantity of money. They're telling you people demand less money. This is the demand for money. It shifts to the left. There's less demand. What happens to nominal interest rates? If you said they go down, give yourself a cigar. Nicely done. Interest rate one, interest rate two. We could do QM1 here if we wanted. Um, all right. Given the interest rate in part A, what will happen to bond prices? Nowhere I've ever seen them ask you to explain it, but you do need to know that interest rates and bond prices are inversely related. Interest rates go down, bond prices go up. Simple enough, right? Given the interest rate change, what will happen to the price level in the short run? So interest rates went down. Interest rates out of C plus I plus G plus XN. Which one is most affected by interest rates? I hope we can agree it's investment. When interest rates go down, investment goes up. That makes aggregate demand go up. That makes the price level go up. Now, if we were going to finish this all the way out, and I tend to always do, this is a lovely sort of cause and effect relationship here. Interest rates go down, investment goes up, aggregate demand goes up, price level goes up. I always write real GDP goes up and output goes up and unemployment goes down. Output and unemployment are always oppositely related. Now, if you know all of this, it makes your multiple choice questions much, much easier because they're going to say something like the interest rates went down for whatever reason. Then they're going to say what happened to the price level and unemployment. If you have this in your head, you can answer these questions pretty quickly. This is your explanation. Obviously, don't write it out with the arrows. Write it out. It doesn't even have to be in a complete sentence for the AP guys, but do, do at least write it out somewhat so you're not using arrows. Um, you, would hate, you would not want to upset your reader. Uh, who grades your exam. All right, um, identify the open market operation that the Fed could use to keep nominal interest rates constant or I guess back where they were, right? How could we get interest rates to go back to this point right here? Uh, so, and they're asking for the open market operations. Now, open market operations, OMO, OMO is either buying bonds or selling bonds. We don't care what kind of bonds they are. We know buying bonds is expansionary, meaning that the money supply would increase, therefore nominal interest rates would go down. I'm going to write it all out just because I can. When nominal interest rates go down, investment goes up. <coughs> Sorry. Aggregate demand goes up. Price level goes up. Real GDP goes up. Output goes up. Unemployment would go down. Easy enough. Selling bonds, though, that is contractionary. That makes the money supply go down. Nominal interest rates would go up. This is exactly what we're looking for is our nominal interest rate to go back up. So if we had to show it, they're not asking us to show it. But if we had to show it, we know that when the Fed sells bonds, shifts the money supply to the left, and nominal interest rates would go back up to that same rate that we had before. Again, if I was doing this all out, and I tend to do it all out anyway, just because I'm like a child like that. When they sell bonds, money supply goes down, nominal interest rates go up, investment would go down, aggregate demand would go down, price level, remember it's contractionary, right? Uh, real GDP would go down, output would go down, and unemployment would go up. You've answered just about every multiple choice question they could throw at you about selling bonds here. So that's why I like to do it. All right, guys, be safe. Take care. I think that answers that.